We are now joined by Pri Rommelt uh, from Australia. She's a master's degree student in international affairs in her second year here at the University of St. Gallen. Um, and Pri, you were awarded third place at this year's St. Gallen Wings of Excellence Award. My congratulations. Um, Pri, if I may start with the first question. Speaking of your essay, which is entitled Global Institutions and Followership, Relearning that Courage Sits with the Crowd, you state that today's society lacks sufficient followership and not sufficient leadership. But don't you have to have great leaders in order to create followership within a society? Absolutely, and I think the two things are absolutely symbiotically related. So to be a great leader, you also need to be a great follower. Mm -hmm. uh, but in today's society, I think there's too much of an overemphasis on leadership that we've misconstrued or misunderstood the meaning of real followership. And that is returning to an understanding of how to be engaged, um, an active participant and support to our, to our leaders. And that's, uh, that's about trust, that's about communication, that's about feedback. And I think we also need to focus on that to be good leaders as well. Okay, thank you. Um, referring to this year's topic of the St. Gallen Symposium, Rewarding Courage, doesn't great followership give rise to a rather streamlined society where courageous people are not rewarded for action against the current? I think it's a good question, but I don't equate followership with um, blindly following the crowd, per se. Okay. What I advocate is a much more engaged followership mm -hmm. um, that is that is working with leaders. But I think today we are in a political environment that is full of cynicism and distrust and places a lot of blame upon our leaders. But that's why I advocate for returning backwards. How are we responsible as followers to also encourage better leadership? And I was actually struck by a comment that a, that a fellow symposium might uh -huh. <laughs> made to this, uh, this last few days. Yes is that the great moments in life jolt you awake, but mm -hmm. it's actually the, in the small moments that courage stands. And I sort of see that as an analogy with leadership. Okay. Sometimes the great moments belong to the leaders, but there's also a lot of courage in, in being the follower and supporting them. Okay. Um, assuming that distrust in global institutions is constantly rising in society, which further action do you think is needed in order to regain people's trust? Trust is a difficult concept, I think. Is, yeah. um, I think at the core, particularly of the global institutions, I think the problem with trust is we don't feel that they accurately reflect us as an evolving and changing global com mm -hmm. community. And that for to reclaim retrust is really about reform and it's a meaningful reform. So it's, it's getting back an accurate reflection of the people. And until we have that, there will be rising distrust, is my belief. Okay. Thank you, Pri. Thank you for uh, joining us at this year's St. Gallen Symposium. Enjoy your time uh, here at your home university. Thank you. Thanks.